guys welcome back to my channel um, today I have been playing around with some file folders I have a ton of these things just I don't know about you guys but somehow or the other I felt it necessary to have a hundred of these I think I guess I don't know that's what it seems like I have so I'm just trying to figure out what to do with all of them and so this was one of the little things I came up with. Now I have not finished this. I've not done all the stuff to it that I can do, but um, I, I got the basic design of what I want um, because I, I'm still gonna put like pockets here. I'm gonna put some pockets here. I'm gonna put something on the back. Um, there's just a ton that I can do um, with this little file folder booklet. So I figured I would bring you guys along. We would make one and just um, see how it works out. I don't know that we'll do the deck, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and put the papers and stuff on. Um, I don't know how much time I'll have to be able to um, do the pockets and stuff on the one we're going to create because um, I have to leave for church shortly. So um, I am going to do this one using, now this one I, um, this is my vintage florals kit that you see on this one. This would actually make a very cute Valentine's um, little happy mail or flat mail or something. And then, um, I have, like I said, I haven't even finished. This was um, uh, the beginnings of a tag um, where I had I glued a bunch of book pages together. Um, I've just been playing with a lot of stuff, so. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. Now, for the sake of time, I have already um, cut my file folder. And so I'm gonna show it, show you this. So if our file folder is this way, my tab over here, I want to line the um, folded part up and I want to cut it at seven and a half inches right here. Okay, so once I get that, and I've got one done so that I can show you guys. Okay, so now that I've got this, this is seven and a half inches this way. Oh, and I cut it at seven inches because the one that I had was just a piece of a folder. Um, you can actually, you know, you can make it as big as you want it to make, but whenever I started this, I was working with just a piece of a file folder. So that's what we're gonna work with. So we have it at seven inches this way, or seven and a half inches this way, and then it's seven inches this way. So now what you want to do is you want to take and put this on your scoreboard with the, um, the folded side at the top, just like that. And then we are going to score it at five inches. Now, a file folder, it's pretty rugged, so normally I can score a file folder, and yeah, so see, it went all the way through. Now, if your scoring does not go all the way through, just flip it over and score it the five inches on the other side as well. So now that we have it scored at five inches, now we're going to take this, um, the folded side and put it right here. And now we want to score at four and a quarter. So just go all the way down, four and a quarter, because what we're doing is making our flat. And again, same thing, just make sure that your um, score went all the way through. So when you get done, you should have a seven and a half inch wide like this seven inches long. You should have a score down here at five inches, and then you should have a score over here at four and a quarter inches. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's take this um, score line here and fold this up. And I'm just going to burnish it down really good. Okay. And then go ahead and fold in those slots because these are going to be our flaps. And just 
fold them in and then burnish them down really good. Okay, so now when you open it, you'll have this rectangle here. We're going to get rid of that. And we're going to get rid of this rectangle as well. Now, one thing I do like to do, um, because of the fact that it's going to be folding, um, rather than just take it, you know, right here, I like to angle it just a little bit, just ever so slightly, um, just to give myself just a little bit of a wiggle room, I guess you could say, um, so that when I fold it up, that's how I'm going to cut it. So I'm gonna do the same thing right here. I'm just um, gonna put a little mark here and then I'm going to put a little mark right here. And that's just to help me cut it. Um, you do not have to do the marks. You can just cut it. But I know my cutting inability. Okay, now the other thing I want to do is I want to cut um, a little tiny triangle out right here in the center because it's going to be the same thing we're going to be folding and so i just want to have a little bit of space so i just marked it just a little bit um just so that i can get a, a decent little um cut line there and again you do not have to do the marking you can just take your scissors and cut and you're good so let's go ahead and let's cut this um, little piece off here. And then I'm going to cut, I just cut right on that score line and now I'm just going to cut right on that pencil mark that I have. And then I'm gonna cut along these lines right here. And that's just so that when it folds, it doesn't have that added bulk in it. Um, that's all that's doing. And so we're going to do the same thing over here. And then I'm going to cut right there. All right. Now you can see the shape of our um, little folder already taken place. So there we go, and it looks like I need to cut a little bit more off right here. It looks like I did not get it even, which is not surprising with me. So I'm just cutting it even there, or attempting to. Okay, so now on um, this one here, I did round the corners of these flats here. So let's do the same thing on this one. Oops. Okay, so I'm just rounding those corners. All right. Now, um, I did ink mine up. And I hate for you guys to have to suffer through me inking this, but I really, I need to get it inked. So we'll ink real quick and I'll just chat with you guys. Um, now, in tomorrow's video, um, I am going to be doing, um, I took some of the, you know, the other day I had um, taken that book apart um, where I was going to be doing an altered book journal. And um, so I had a whole stack of um, book pages. And so I took um, Collage Podge and I glued three pages on top of each other. And it made like, actually, it feels like a very nice cardstock. And it's just, you know, book pages. Um, so I have, I've done a couple of things using those book pages. And that's what we are going to be working with in tomorrow's video. Um, it's just something to um, add to journals. Um, and it's using up the book pages at the same time. Um, and it's not, you know, they're not flimsy because they, they really, 
they come out as like good cardstock. Um, I was very impressed with it. Very happy with it. So, and I do like the look of the, um, you know, you don't have to ink like this, but um, I do like the look when it's inked. So I've got everything there. So let me just do this side really quick. So I hope everybody is having a good day. I am having a good day. It's I'm filming this on Sunday and uh, it's almost time to go to church. So that's why I'm kind of like trying to get it done because after church um, this morning, my husband and I had a few errands that we needed to run. Um, and then we went and got some lunch. And so when I come in, I started uh, working on that little folder. And um, because, you know, sometimes I honestly, I have no idea what to film. And, um, you know, I don't want to, I don't know, I, I want to always try and bring something that would interest you guys. And so, um, I try to create stuff or design stuff um, that is interesting. And so sometimes it can be a little stressful. Okay, so we have that all inked up. Now, again, um, for the sake of time, I went ahead and cut a lot of the, pa the papers that I needed um, for this. So, um, and I will give you measurements on these okay so these here are going to be for the inside of this journal area and it doesn't have to come all the way to the bottom because of this so these are at where's my ruler so for the inside pockets I have cut them at four inches wide by four and a half inches long okay so let's just go ahead and glue those down and I got out my trusty old Fabri-Tac here you guys know I love my Fabri-Tac which I am having such a hard time finding Fabri-Tac I do not know what is going on my people I need my Fabri-Tac Okay, so I'm just going to, and I'm leaving a little bit of a mat around it because, for one thing, we don't want it to butt up against either seam because it'll um, cause too much bulk. Okay, that looks really good. And let's do the same thing with this one. I'll just glue it down. Oh, I went out to the um, the other house yesterday and done a little bit of cleaning and starting to get it ready and tried to get the high-speed cable hooked, or internet hooked up um, because I've got the modem and all that, but I couldn't get it to connect. So I got on the phone with Xfinity and they couldn't get it to work, so now they have a tech that's going to come out on the 9th, which I don't understand how it's not working. My daughter was just using it, so who knows. All right, so we have those glued down. So when we glue these flaps down, that's what you will see. Now let's go ahead and do um, the back. Now um, the front and back cover, um, these pages are four inches wide and then they are four and three quarter inches um, in height. So just pick the one that you want for the front and the back. You can do them the same, you can do them different. Um, you know, you can make, you could even make these into pockets rather than gluing them completely down. Um, you know, you could just glue on three sides, but we're just, I'm just going to go ahead and glue mine all the way down for the video. And again, make sure that you have it going the right direction. As you guys know, I am good about gluing things upside down. 
Okay. And again, just stay away from the folds there. And we'll do the same thing here. And I mean, these are really, um, once you know your measurements, these are really easy and quick to make. Um, so there we go again, just getting it lined up the way we want it. And I will um, link these kits here below in the description box, the um, grungy rose and the vintage florals. Okay, so now we have the flaps and for the flaps you need four pieces and the flaps you would cut these at three and one eighth times four and three quarters. So now I just want to see um, what I want on the inside, what I want on the outside. Um, let's do this. Okay. So we're going to do it like that. So let me just flip this over for now. And I'm just going to glue these down. Make sure I have them going the right direction. Like I said, I am good about gluing things upside down or I'm real good at doing stuff like that. So we're just going to glue this down and again stay away from that seam area, that binding, that spine, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so there's that side. And then we just need to do the same thing for this side over here. And these are so pretty. I love the grungy floor, um, grungy rose. Oh my goodness, I love this. But of course, that vintage floral, I love how bright and bold that is. So, I don't know, I like it all. All right, so let's glue these down. Yeah, so hopefully they will get my internet working at the new place soon because, um, I mean, I still have a lot of, you know, because I wanted everything to be cleaned up out there and, you know, I want to start setting up my craft studio slowly. I don't want to just haul everything out there and then just pile it in and then, because I would get overwhelmed very quickly and so I'm not going to do that, you know, because we're not on any time frame. Um, I have set a goal, but that's all it is, is a goal. Okay, so are these the two pieces I have for that? Yes, I think so. Yes. Now, um, because of the way that I've cut this, I am thinking that if I round the corners on this, or I'm wondering if I should, let me do this. Let me just kind of trim right here. And then I will slide it over just a little bit. And I can trim like right there. Actually, let's trim this side first. So if that goes there like that, which would be about right. So we need just a little bit over here. So I don't need all that I had originally put. So let's do that. Well, I guess I did. <laughs> Almost exact same line. So right there, I'm just lining it up to see if I can get it, um, that looks good, because I want it to have that, um, a little bit of a mat around it, but not too much, and I did not ink that up, so I'm inking this one up real quick, and again, we could glue this down to where, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a pocket, 
and then that's a pocket if we glued it down <coughs> excuse me if we glued it down on three sides rather than all the way down we would you know could make a double pocket but for now we're just going to go ahead and do it this way that is so cute okay and so let me I need to do the same thing here so I need to slide it over just a little bit I need to get my angle and that's all I'm doing is just cutting my angle and then once I have that angle and I make sure I'm gonna slide it over a little bit this way and then I'm gonna cut the angle here and I bet my glue is going to be all gooped up because I've left the top off okay so I'm just making sure that it looks good and it does and so I'm just gonna ink this up real quick now let's glue this one down really cute okay so now all we need to do we need to just glue those pockets down the little pocket tabs so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue here and you could even put like thumb pulls in it if you wanted to um, there's a lot that you can do um, you can put you could actually um, sew a little signature in. You can make a, um, give yourself a spine area. You can sew a signature in. You could put a flap on this before, on one of the, um, like a little flip out on one of these before you um, covered it up. Just so much you can do. So we have the base of this completely done already look how cute that is so um, let's see if we want to I don't know if we have time or want to add anything to it um, let's just do let's see you know what we could do let's cut this at um Let's cut this at six inches. Right there. Okay, and then let's cut it at, let's cut this at four and three quarter inches as well. Now, I don't want to round the corners on this because I've got something else I think I'm going to do with this. Let me grab a piece of coffee dye paper to put on the back of this. So let's glue this down to some coffee dyed paper. I want some writing area on this and you can use your glue stick or you know whatever other kind of glue you want to use y'all just know I, I just always kind of go for my fiber tack so I'm just trying to line it up just so that I don't waste any paper I'm just smoothing it out Oh, and I don't know how many of you guys have seen it linked in my description below. I have an Amazon link for an amazing little punch. 
you know, I have the one um, tab corner punch that I don't like. Um, I mean, it, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but I paid like 30 something dollars for this one and I don't really like it. It's heavy, it's bulky, and I'm just not that fond of it. Well, my other one is amazing. And we are going to use it shortly. And it's less than $10. And it's perfect. So, um, it's linked in the description box below. So, you definitely want to... If you have troubles cutting the angles of tags like I do, you for sure want to head over and grab, grab you one of those. Okay, so let me just score this in the middle here so that I can fold it. Okay, I'm just scoring it right there because we just made a folding tag. And obviously I didn't score it right or something, so we're just gonna cut that little extra off. There we go. So I'm just going to cut this off so that I don't have to deal with it. And we're going to just pretend like I had folded it right there in the middle. And <laughs> All right, so here is my little tag corner punch. And it works wonderful. I don't know if this is too thick to go through all of that. Yeah, so we'll just do at one corner at a time and it has three different sizes look perfect guys I'm so excited over it but now I don't know how I'm gonna do this one because it didn't want to do the we're just gonna have to force it okay look at that guys perfect corner love it love 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 it now this does have it's got where you can do like the center punch hole but it's not going to go through all of it sorry guys okay so we have that and do I have some ribbon? I do. So let's ink this up a little bit. I'm probably going to mute that part out. So if I have muted it and you're wondering why I'm saying sorry. I mean, you'll see. It's, yeah. That was louder than I expected it to be. But I wanted it to poke my hole. So yeah, this is... um. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. The name of it is. It is linked that there is an Amazon link in the description box below though. And I want to say it was like $9 and some change. And it is well worth it. Well worth it because it works way better than that more expensive one that I have. And I like the, the shape that it gives. Okay, so we got that done. And so I can just take, to keep my little tag closed. So this can be like my little secret journaling spot. I can just, you know, tie a little bow right here. And I'm not even gonna tie it, I'm just gonna Kind of leave it okay and so we can cut that down right here oh and look that would just kind of stick out and then we could even um See right here we could make a little pocket 
we could do a belly band. Um, we could make a pocket here. Um, there's just so much that you can do um, once you get that base done. So let me, I'm gonna set this back out so you guys can see this again. So remember, this is your fold. You want it to be seven and a half inches this way, seven inches this way. Then you wanna score at five inches down here and at four and a quarter inches here. And that's pretty much it. That's really the only thing you need to know because everything else, it's just adding the embellishments, adding your background papers. Um, you know, there's so much we can do here. I've got all of that um, grungy rose ephemera that I can use to like really um, embellish this up and have fun with it. So there you go, guys. Go make you one of these. Try it. Let me know how it turns out for you. And um, post pictures in the Facebook group. I would love to see it. I know um, one of my subscribers... What is her name? I have it, in, I have it written down. Um, she posted in the Facebook group um, what she had done with the freebie tags that I had give out the other day. And they were gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. She done some amazing work. Um, so, yeah, just, you know, post it and let us see it. And um, I would love it. So, Anyway, guys, I shall talk to you tomorrow. Make sure you're tuning in tomorrow because we will be making a, um, a little, well, do I have it up here? No, I don't. Anyway, we'll be making some envelopes using some um, book pages. So there you go, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.